hi my name is Marcy, and welcome back to the channel this is what we're talking about today so i had a what in my nose um I think in one of the videos i say that i had a growth uh, now i know it was a what so i had a what when i was younger i think when i was um like 15 16 and um then it got treated uh then i mean i went had them removed but that was on my feet and i think i have some on my feet again but well i mean they've just been there for a while i've not bothered with them this one was on my face and everybody was getting on my nerves and it wasn't painful but i had to have it um removed and then something interesting happened and that is why i am here doing a video with a thing in my nose which looks horrible i'm probably going to regret doing this video but well here we go so i went to the doctor a dermatologist for the first time in my life and i'm sitting there and i'm thinking okay nice she looked nice she was kind and everything and you know um for me it was actually just more of who can see me the fastest it's summer quite a lot of them are on vacation so and quite a lot of them are not taking new patients so it was just hard to get one to begin with so i just got whoever was available so she comes in and uh, she does an amazing job of introducing herself making me feel at ease asking me what was wrong so i had a a letter from my gp explaining so i give it to her and she looks at it and she goes like oh okay that's nice and then she noticed that i had down um, the kenyan bracelet and she asked me oh so do you speak swahili i told her yes and then we got to you know she got to practice her swahili she had done um, an internship in tanzania so she had learned a few words of how to talk to patients in swahili which was fun and then we she told me well okay um it looks like it's just a what what we'll do we'll take it off she explained that she will tell me every step of the way and she told me well it will look scary but um you won't feel anything the only thing you will feel is the anesthesia is very uncomfortable because she has to actually inject the nose the place yeah and uh she said that is going to hurt um and uh then after that you will be all numb and you will feel nothing and um, normally you should feel nothing even after you have um, even after the anesthesia wears off you should normally feel nothing if you feel anything then um, call or go to the nearest uh, emergency room i asked if it was going to bleed she said yes it's going to bleed a bit but then we're going to use um something to uh, stop the bleeding to close off the bleeding and then you should be fine it should not bleed like for days you know so i said okay and um then she said okay lie down she takes the thing cleans it and then looks again you know does a very good job and then she goes there and starts okay so let's go and then she starts cutting and you're like okay no so first it's the injection and whoa that was painful she said it was going to be painful I did not expect it to be this painful it was really painful and then she then once i was numb she cuts it and then she says yeah so she puts it on the side and she's like okay so um while she's cleaning and we, no first she goes like oh no and then i was like wait that's not something i want a doctor to be saying when they are you know holding a very 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 huge it looks huge uh razor on my face and then she goes like no 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 um i just you know she's like yeah it's uh bleeding uh more than um she expected it to but it should be fine uh then she went to go to the thing and told me okay so it's going to sound scary but we're just burning off the edges and yeah so she does that anyway totally talked me through it everything was fine then the the what is there and then she shows me and then she's like yeah so we are going to send it to the lab if you don't hear from us in a week you should be fine uh if you if there's anything we'll call you and in the meantime we'll just take an appointment for another for to see you in a month to see if you have healed well and everything is fine and in my mind i'm like wait what can go wrong what what else could it be you said it's a what and then she's like yeah i said it's a what which it probably is but just to be on the safe side, we have to take it to the lab to make sure that it's not anything more than that. And I'm like, what else can it be? I mean, you know, here I am waiting for a release stop. 
I know, I know, I know. It sounds really silly, but I don't know what I was expecting her to tell me. And she's like, do not worry, do not panic about it. And then I'm like, yeah, I, I do panic a bit because I have quite a few of them. And then she's like, why didn't you mention that? I'm like, because you say it's a what and I'm used to what. The only reason I'm having this one removed is because it's on my face. The, the rest are on my feet. Then she was like, okay, can I see them? I showed her that, yeah, this one has been there for a year. This one has been there for two years. This one has been there for a while. And then this one, I think there's one coming up here. I can feel it. And she's like, and you did not think this was worth mentioning? I'm like, no, because I'm only rem having this one removed because it's on my face. I didn't know that they are that there can be anything more to it than this. And then she told me, okay, fast. Uh chances are it's really absolutely nothing it can be anything but i mean any growth has to be investigated because growths are not supposed to be happening when they happen you need to have it investigated um to just make sure that it's not more than what you think it is or it's not something that's going to keep coming up or it's not a condition or you know it can be many different things not necessarily cancer she knew where my brain was going and then she said second thing is there is nothing normal about having what's all over the place. And she told me, Madam, you have insurance. Get your doctor to check all this. The reason why, you know, you, you can, it's probably nothing and it's probably just they need to be removed every time they come. But maybe there's a way that maybe there is something that's causing them. You know, sometimes just get something checked you know so she told me okay we'll have a look at it at our next appointment which is in a month she told me if uh, anything changes if i start feeling pain or anything. i'm like i've had some of them for years i don't even notice they are there until when i'm having a pedicure and the pedicure person mentions it and then she said okay so we are going to so prepare yourself we will take them off and of course on that day you would need to come with somebody because you would need help because there are quite a number so walking would be tricky after that and then we can um but then it also depends on what the results of this um lab thing was now all this to say and then i was talking to somebody else who told me that he never goes to the doctor because he grew up in a family where his parent is a doctor and so he just you know she just kept looking at them and he never had to get doctor's appointments so he it's not something that um is usually a priority in his life now all this to say that sometimes we take our health for granted, especially people who are generally healthy. Because, I mean, I have some health issues, but to be honest, I'm generally quite healthy. I don't have um, a lot of uh, long-term illnesses that require a lot of checkup. So right now, I am being followed for my um, weight issues by a physician, but that is something that you know short term i don't really have any long-term issues now what i have noticed is people who do not have you know people who are not asthmatic they don't they were not born with any issues we take our health for granted and there are things and sometimes you feel like you're bothering the doctor you feel like why would i go for a yearly checkup same thing with um, dental care. People who generally have healthy teeth do not go to the doc to the dentist until when they feel pain. And the problem is by the time you're feeling pain, it's already too late. And most of the time it needs to be removed and things like that. Now I've just remembered that I haven't gone for my dental checkup this year. But we tend to take our health for granted, which especially for women, that's not healthy. We make appointments for our children, we force our spouses to go to the doctor, and for us, it's always going to be next time. So I take my gynecological health very seriously, but that's partially because I have to have my birth control checked, I have to have, you know, my... So during that done, I have my pap smear is done, and you know, so this happens. And then there's I have so many friends who are survivors of breast cancer, and every time they post on Facebook that oh yeah, uh it's uh, cancer awareness month, and you go like oh yeah, now I need to have it checked, you know. So I have quite constant reminders for the gynecological side of um, checks, but I don't have the same for just physical body checkup. 
which we tend to take for granted and small things we tend to think ah next time next time next time next time the older you get the more you need to actually start doing this you actually should start it when you're younger so that it becomes a habit and you always do it but the older you get the less ex the less excuses you need to have i have i'm making a conscious decision to to start actually putting it like in my calendar that on this date I need to make an appointment to the do with the doctor for next year's checkup. My children, I do it every time their birthday, the week of their birthday, either before or after their birthday, they go, they go for a checkup. Why don't I do the same for myself? Why? Because I'm not a priority? Because I'm superwoman? Why? It just doesn't make sense. Anyway. So uh, that's it. That's what I've been learning this week. And I'm hoping that somebody else gets to learn the same thing like me. Okay, so have a nice day. And I'm hoping that you have a lovely, lovely, lovely week ahead. Bye-bye.